butterflies bring out the kid and almost everybody. And one Tulsa woman enjoys them so much she's raising them and right now is her peak season. Rick Wells and photojournalist Todd Ruffin have that story. There are butterflies. There are all kinds of critters, bees, butterflies, and one huge grasshopper. The cats hunt those and bring them in the house. Another reason why I don't have a cat, I guess. Well, we came to see butterflies, and she said our best chance was out back. We'll cut through the house. It's easier. The TV camera brought out the neighbors, Bill Brock and Sheila Nafee, so they came along. Hoping for a butterfly sighting, Bill had his camera phone at the ready. There's a, there's a monarch. Yeah. They love those yellow milkweed flowers. The orange ones, she said, were what? Oh, Tithonia. Also known as Mexican sunflowers. Now, this is migration time for monarchs heading south for the winter. The ones that are coming through now are on their way to Mexico. They're like the last... Mm-hmm. And then they'll oh. winter down mm -hmm, there, and mm -hmm. then they come back north. Come back and lay eggs, and then, and then and the whole... a second generation, a third generation. Then Monarchs love these milkweed plants. They lay their eggs on the leaves. The leaves then serve as food for the young caterpillars. Generations of butterflies return to the same area, even the same plants. Now, all the time we're talking, yes. I've been admiring her hat. It looks Asian, but it's actually African. Yeah, she said it's woven straw with leather trims. Very stylish. Looks good, don't you think? Burkina Faso. Faso. Mm -hmm. From Africa. Yes. <laughs> Howdy. And she apologized a couple of times for the condition of her garden, but for good reason, she said. The wilder the, gar the yard is, the more wildlife feels safe. Especially the butterflies. Rick Wells, The News on 6. Clara told Rick the local website that got her started on all this is TulsaAudubon.org, so we provided a link in the web version of Rick's story at NewsOn6.com.